What's going on, too? Trucker D back again, back again. Hopefully you had a good weekend. Hopefully you had a good New Year's. Whenever you've seen this video, hopefully all those things went well. So before we get this video started, uh, thanks for the feedback on the Day in the Life video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed it. If you haven't watched it yet, be sure to check that out. So tonight we're going to talk about pups and dollies, because I know I get quite a few questions regarding that. So first question is... How do we back up doubles? To answer that, you don't. It's nearly impossible to back in that. You will be able to back it maybe a few feet or yards, but that's about it. Reason being is um, the dolly. That dolly is going to do its own thing back there. Like your lead might go left, your dolly might go right, and your tail is going to go whatever direction it decides to go. So it's nearly impossible to do it. All right, so let's talk about the dollies first. I'm also do um, probably going to volunteer to come in Sunday, probably, in the daytime. That way I can show you guys what I mean about all the things that I'm about to talk about. Show you better than I can tell you. Believe it or not, guys, those dollies, you do need to pre-trip them because nothing's going to piss you off more than hooking up your set, and then having to break it down because of that dolly. Before I came here to the company I'm at now, I was at uh, FedEx Ground. And when I was at FedEx Ground, you had to hook everything up. You had to find a dolly. You had to find your lead, find your tail, hook it all up. I can't tell you how many times I would have to um, break that set apart because I realized the dolly's not building air, it has a bad air leak, the line's been cut, or one of the lights on the dolly doesn't work. Because, yes, those dollies do have um, lights on it because sometimes you might just be pulling a lead and your dolly, you may not have a, a tail. So if you're going down the road, you need to make sure those lights on that dolly work. So that's why you need to pre-trip those as well. But like I said, I'll do a full free trip on a dolly just to show you guys uh, what to look for. Uh, I know somebody also asked, how do you maneuver those dollies? Because, yes, those dollies are heavy. Now, fortunately, at AAA Cooper, most of the dollies are super singles. We do have some duels, which are heavy. The super singles are heavy, too, but they're not as heavy as the uh, duels. <laughs> Now, when it comes to maneuvering those dollies on the yard, you want to work smarter, not harder, because those dollies can hurt you. They can fuck you up if you're not careful. Take them from somebody who knows. I done been there. I done done it. Trust me. Hardest part about maneuvering that dolly is if it's on a hill, if it's on an incline, it's going to make your job a whole lot harder. Trust me. You want to, um, if your dolly's on a hill, just let gravity take control. Like, if it's going downwards, just let it roll. But you don't want to strain yourself messing with that dolly. Now, when it comes to um, backing your dolly, depending on the company you are, a lot of us have a um, pencil hook, which is like a hook on the back of the trailer for the dolly. So if you're like on the yard and you're finding your trailer, you'll have to um, back your, you know, tractor and dolly to your, uh, you would back it under your tail. Now, when you're backing it, you want to make sure that um, you're not oversteering because that dolly, the reaction time on it is super quick. So you want to make sure you're doing slow turns, left, right, slow turns, not oversteering because you're going to um, find that dolly doing a full 90 on you in a heartbeat. So um, slow, steady turns. When it comes to backing your lead and dolly, same thing. I'm going to show you guys, too, probably Saturday or Sunday. I'm going to show you guys me backing all that up. Because as I said before, there's going to be times where you're going to have to back that lead and dolly to the tail. You won't be able, you won't always be able to stage it. And I'm going to show you guys too what I mean by staging it. 
And when I show you, it'll all, you know, make sense. But there's going to be times where you might go to a yard or a terminal where it's tight. So you're going to have no choice but to back it all up together. So. Again, as I said before, when it comes to um, hooking up your trailers, as I've said, heaviest is your lead, lightest is your tail. Now, I know there's some drivers out there that um, if it's a couple thousand pounds difference, they're not going to switch it. But me, because of the highways I take, the scales are always open. So I don't be, I don't like taking chances. So I just, if it's wrong, I just take it all apart and do it the correct way. Better safe than sorry. So I'm going to also do a backing video. I know you guys got the backing video of me backing a 50s, but I'm gonna also show you guys me backing a 28 footer. Now these 28s, it's not like a 53 because on a 53, the reaction time is slower. So you have time to, you know, catch it. Now these 28s, it's easy to jackknife because the reaction time is much quicker. The smaller the trailer, the faster the reaction time. So always remember that. When I first started pulling these doubles, you know, I was rusty as hell at backing. Because I was so used to backing 53s. And when I finally had a back of 28, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I find it, you know, turning on me quickly, so... I'm going to give some tips on that as well. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. So this is basically um, just letting y'all know what's coming up this week. So as I always tell y'all, thank you to all my day one subscribers. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Appreciate all of you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you don't, you know what to do. As I always tell y'all, y'all take it easy. Stay safe.